What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to take your website once you complete it and make it .tk. So what we need to do is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Um, this is just uh, my other website. So we're just going to go ahead and open up your Internet Explorer and go to dropbox.com. I'll have a link down below. Go ahead and download it, install that, make sure you have that, and go to dot 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 tk. I'll have a link down below to this website also. And, um... What we need to do now is once you got Dropbox installed, we're gonna go ahead and go go to Start Computer, go to Local C. We need to go to User Computer or whatever or Owner, whatever you named your computer, is usually your name. Go to My Documents, go to My Dropbox, go to Public, and we're gonna open up the file that we made. Control C and copy it and paste it. Now basically what this is doing is putting it in Dropbox and now we need to right click the Dropbox and copy public link. Now what this public link is, is basically the link uh, for other people to see it. So we can basically have it like this or we can make a .dk with it and name it whatever we want. So basically our website is on the internet but no one knows the URL because it's the funky URL. So what we need to do is go to dot dot tk and uh, go to control v paste the url into here go ahead and click next and what we need to do is rename our websites we're going to youtube uh, dot tk and go to make sure we capitalize all this um, actually we're going to rename this so we don't get in trouble for youtube we're just going to name this uh, website test and we're going to F A R type this code in G M B S M. Go ahead and scroll down, click confirm. This name has already been registered, so what we're going to do is actually um, change this, I guess. Web. Alright, oh, I know why, because YouTube or Test for YouTube.tk. I forgot. I already went ahead and did this. So once you add that in there and click confirm, it will bring you to another page saying that your website's launched. And I already did this earlier to test it out, make sure it worked, and it did. So here it is. Test for YouTube. So here's our website. No wonder it didn't work. I totally forgot. So uh, that's it. So that's basically how you get it. So you can see now the website's fully working. .tk. Um, you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. And uh, you know we got the Twitter, we got the YouTube, jailbreak uh, YouTube links, and it should bring you to my YouTube account, as you can see right there. And uh, other things like that. So basically everything working. It's a .tk. So that's how you get it up and running. And uh, we exit out of Dropbox, and you can see the website actually there you go it still works no matter what so if your computer's off or on it doesn't matter your uh, thing will still work but if you want to update your website you gotta make sure um, Dropbox is open for order this um, so we're just gonna wait for that to open analyzing and it should be up and if we wanted to change something we could always go into Dreamweaver I'm gonna cancel that and now for order this to update this, what we need to do is continue our trial trial. Is we're going to file open and what we need to do is open our file. And we're gonna open up the index that Excel. And what we can do is delete all this here. And if we change something like this, we'll change all this and get rid of this. And delete all that, control shift S and we save this. Now we override the file, but we only override this website, this file right here. So if we reload this page or go to home, as you can see it's still the same, but what we need to do is go back into start computer local C user owner my documents Dropbox public and what you can do is you can either do this every single time delete it 
yes and copy it over and we upload it like this or you can just uh, make this direct link so this the link um, so the file is in the Dropbox file or not so basically if we go back to the website we reload it uh, we go to home as you can see it reloaded there's nothing there because we updated it you can do that every single time or you can just go into Dreamweaver and change the location of the file and uh, save it there and into Dropbox so every time you upload your Dropbox you hit Control shift s save enter enter it saves then on the website on .tk it's already saved it already changed the things and that's how you make a website on .tk and Dropbox and Dreamweaver CS5 hope you guys enjoyed more tutorials come in Dreamweaver and I'll see you guys in the next video.